Hey, I'm Kayla Cardio, artist with Saint since 2019, and I am going to show you the color Bayou today. So it is an eyeshadow, but it's beautiful. It is this blue baby right here. So before I get started on my eyes, I do typically do my face first. So I will throw some highlight and contour on here really quickly, and then I'll show you this shade. So I would have never bought this shade in my life. Um, before Saint, I had owned one eyeshadow that I bought at a party because I felt bad to go and not buy anything. So I'm like, what's the cheapest thing I could buy? So I literally owned one Mary Kay eyeshadow and then like growing up, whatever came free in Clinique bonus time. So probably like some kind of green shade they were trying to get rid of. No idea how to use it. So this is not above your pay grade. I use a beautiful color and it doesn't have to be like scary or totally 80s or, you know, we can use it in, in more subtle ways. So I'm gonna show you different looks with it on several different artists, but as we get started, I will tell you a little bit about myself and do my basic face and then we'll throw the bayou on. I'll show you on two different eyes, two different ways that you could use it. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna throw on my highlight and contour. I like to use, let's see what brushes we wanna to use today. Yep, got my brushes over here. And I think we'll start with the B squared brush. So I'm going to throw that on quickly. I'll speed it up so you guys uh, can get to the good part. We'll skip to the good part, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, now that I have most of my face on, I'm gonna finish my lips really quick. And I like to line them. And then I'm gonna do two different looks on my eyes, which means I'll look a little crazy for you guys, but I'll do it. Do it just for y'all, okay? I shouldn't be seeing anybody today, I guess. No one that would judge me for having two different eye looks. So, I'll introduce myself a little bit. I am Kayla Cardio, like I said, and I am a mom of three stair-step boys. You'll probably see at least one in the video today because I can't get any time alone. It is what it is. Um, I actually have two additional boys that I am babysitting today. So I will have a house full of five boys, eight and under, ranging from three to eight. So it's a, it's a fun life and it will not be quiet. It'll be loud and that is what it is. Uh, remember all our Saint Cheek colors, you can use as lip colors as well. Um, I like to put like a cheap stain down first so that I don't have to reapply through the day because when my Saint lip color wears off, which my makeup lasts all day, but my lips don't always. I mean, it's like a lipstick or a lip gloss. Like once I talk and drink and eat and stuff, then it's going to be gone. But then I, so I like to have that stain down under it so that I still have a little bit of color and don't have to worry about reapplying. I'm a high school Spanish teacher in inner city Knoxville and that is my, my passion. I had never done makeup before this. I had never contoured before this. So I became an artist just because I loved the products. I loved how quick and easy it was because I have three little boys. And I just jumped in because I loved the clean ingredients of the makeup. That was really important to me. It was when my, my babies were younger and I was really being careful like when I was pregnant and breastfeeding about all the junk and toxins I was putting in my body. So when I heard that Saint was a 1.5 on the environmental working group scale, I was super interested. But on a teacher salary and I'm married to a firefighter, um, typically those kind of makeups are way out of my price range and they don't look good. I'm a little vain. I want to look good too. So like before I, you know, tried some makeups that they give you like this much and I was like, you were having to buy it every month and it was $60 and I was just like, I can't do that. And it wasn't getting any kind of good coverage. So I fell in love with Saint. I decided, you know what, why not? I had done my party. I had hosted a party to earn all kinds of free stuff. I saw that it could be done without being salesy or spammy. And I was like, well, that was easy. All she did was show it, you know, it wasn't like it was weird. Like if someone didn't want it, they could just ignore it. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try this and blew my mind. So. I mean, I could quit teaching if I wanted to. I love teaching, so I'm not gonna quit teaching, but it was just crazy. Um, the Because the, the makeup is cool and you don't have to be annoying. I know uh, direct sales gets a bad 
rip, but I'm so glad that I jumped in. It was such a God thing that I tried it. I lost my sister like a couple months later and then I had all these new ladies around me, an excuse to get to like be Kayla and not just mom. So it was really neat. So I'm gonna go into Bayou um, and I'll kind of tell you who I am as, as we do this. But um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can use this color as like an eyeliner, just like a pop of color or like the main shade on the lid. So I really love the color Bubba. Uh, you can tell I use it every day. So I'm gonna use this as a base over here. I am using the smudge brush and I'm gonna go above the crease and just use that to, you know, add a little drama to my crease. Orange is basically a neutral when it comes to eyeshadow. I never would have used, would have purchased an orange eyeshadow in my life. Like I said, I had one purple shade that I bought from some at a makeup party because I felt bad not to buy anything. So I'm doing that there. Am I close enough? Do I need to zoom in a little bit? Okay. I just hear brushes hitting the floor. So I'm gonna go there with my Bubba. Bubba is the underpants of so many um, eyeshadow looks. It's just a great base. No matter if you're doing a smoky eye or anything, even a cool color look. Okay, so once I did it most dramatic on the crease and I just lightly went over that and I'm dragging it a tiny bit down under here. So we're kind of blending it out. Okay, now I'm going to, when I ever want a really like big pop of color, I will apply it with my finger. So that's what's gonna put it on the most dense. So on this one, I'm gonna go into our bayou, beautiful bayou, and I'm gonna put it on more dramatic. This way I can control where it goes and I can make sure I get a ton of color. Now I want to be a little bold, so I am gonna make sure I get that inner corner really well so that I can see it when the eyes open. I'm gonna pull it down a tiny bit onto this lower lid. Not too much, but. So for this look, we're going a little more, like we're gonna see the blue, see, with my eye open. And then I'm gonna darken this outer corner with cocoa. I thought it was a pretty color to go with. So I'm switching to the eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna find, I'm gonna go to my neutral side of my palette. This is my more colorful side. And I'm gonna grab me a brown. I wanted cocoa. Okay. I double check that that's cocoa. I think it is. I've got a hair in my mouth, so that's wonderful. Okay, that's Trust. So I'm probably not gonna go as dark as Trust. I'm gonna get cocoa for a little warmer brown. I'm take my small end of my eyeshadow brush and concentrate it right here in the corner. I'm kind of making a triangle. And once I have it in the spot I want, then I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit more. I'm gonna darken this like eyeliner on the bottom. I do this instead of like a pencil liner. I feel like it's a little softer. So pulling that up until the point where we got to the light blue to the bayou. And I'm stippling it in where I want it the most concentrated. And then I'll just blend it forward a little bit into that blue. And you can make it as dramatic as you want so you can bring it farther out. But this is just, not, there's nothing on this side of the brush. I wanna hold it farther back. I'm just gonna kind of windshield wiper that to blend the colors together. I don't wanna do too much blending because I like the blue how it is. It's a look where I want a little bit more like distinction between the colors. But that is one way that you can use Bayou. Now I can go back in and add just a little bit more of either one, of Bayou or the Cocoa right there where it's kind of like, eh, but like I said, I was trying to leave those colors a little bit distinct. I'm gonna do a little more Cocoa. Now what I did not think through was that I was gonna take an after picture for you guys and now my eyes aren't gonna match. <laughs> That's okay. I'll have to recreate it tomorrow for you guys. Got my Tata shirt on. I'm not working today. School got canceled, so here we are. All right, on this eye, I'm gonna do something different. I'm still gonna use some of those oranges because I tend to love um, my orangey neutral. So on this side, I'm gonna do, you know what? I'll start with Bubba again so I don't um, look as crazy when I go out later, right? I'm gonna start with Bubba again. Actually, I'll go a little bit oranger. How about I go with, um, no, I should just stick with Bubba. Okay, stick with Bubba. You guys need Bubba too. So you didn't know you were gonna get a two for one today. I was gonna focus on two colors, but I really just do love Bubba. 
Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna go Bubba. Again, in the same area, right in the crease. Kind of concentrated. And then, so with this one, we're gonna do a little pop of color. I love Bubba for all eye colors. I like Bayou for all eye colors. I don't think there's anything wrong. I don't do this whole like, um, I can't, I'm too old for shimmers or I can't wear this. I don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna find us another neutral. So this is my more tame look using Bayou. I'm being called for, so give me one second. Pardon me, I was yelled at by a little boy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go with, I love Angel's Landing. So this is another, just kind of more neutral shimmer. And I'm gonna use this one on the inside. So this time we're just using a pop of blue. So this is for my ladies that like a little bit more of a neutral look. I also love Drift. This is a color I use almost every day since it's came out for just a great, like bright, kind of, especially if you got your eyes a little bit deep set, so it's gonna, that light's gonna bring it forward. So I love Drift. So use a little Drift, a little Angel's Landing. Maybe even throw in a little Crush here. Crush is another one of my favorites. And Crush is right here. Now I like, yeah, I just like to pack it on with my fingers a little bit because I can control where it's going. I could use this smudge brush, but I mean, God gave me 10 fingers. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna switch to, I'm gonna use the Bayou as some eyeliner. So I can do that on the bottom like we did the cocoa on this side. So I'm gonna use the small end again of the eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go into my Bayou. And sometimes if I really want it to stay in one place, I can spray it with some stay spray. I'm gonna do that on the top. With the bottom, I like it a little softer. If you want it more bold, the stay spray will definitely make it a little more bold. I'm gonna take that by you and just soften it. And you can kind of look up when you do it. it. Might help. I tend to just get eyeshadow in my eye that way. So we're gonna go much softer. So you can see it's darker on this side because we use a darker color. So this is kind of more of a pop. It's gonna make my blue eyes stand out. And then I'm gonna do it as the eyeliner on the top. When I do that, I'm gonna switch to the line brush. The line brush is very fine. You can see tiny, whiny, and it doesn't move. So it's not going anywhere. It's gonna put the product exactly where you want it. To do that, I am gonna use our setting spray. I'm gonna spray the brush before I put it in the color so that it stays exactly where I put it. And I'm just gonna do this as some eyeliner. So I'm gonna go into my Bayou. Also, setting spray smells like the beach. Okay. I love it. It's like coconutty, sunscreeny. I love it. I love the setting spray smell and the brush cleaner. So I'm just going to add this pop of color as eyeliner. Hopefully, you can see that. With that line brush, you can be super precise get it exactly where you want it. Now we do have, I usually use the line brush to apply our Black Friday eyeliner. It is a cream instead of a powder. So we don't have to add the setting spray step, but it does not, like it dries really well. It stays in place all day. So if you haven't tried that, that's another great addition to your compact. You can grab it with the line brush so that you have something to apply it with. I'm sure you could find like a dupe of this brush pretty easily. I always tell people like, the eyeshadow brushes and stuff, you can you can get another brand, but you need as many Saint brushes as you can for your cream to be able to achieve the same look. So different look, little more subtle on this side. Just gonna be a pop of color, but Bayou is such a pretty color. So there it is, swatch. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Kayla Cardi. I'm gonna add a little bit more mascara. I think I need a little bit more mascara. But that's Bayou, it's super fun. Also, our eyeshadows can be used to top lip colors. I don't think I would do that with Bayou. Don't recommend, um, unless it's Halloween or something like that. But it's really fun to top your eye, your lip color with eyeshadow because you'll get a lot more color and it'll last longer. So, thanks for watching. I hope you all are enjoying it. Look forward to showing you some different looks on different artists with Bayou today. It's different ways you can use this fun color.